Well, a day in the life of a financial planner uh, for some people would be incredibly boring, kind of like watching paint dry or grass grow, but for uh, the right kind of person, uh, it's uh, at once exciting and uh, educational because uh, you, know, you get to find out all about people's stuff. And uh, you, what you start to realize is that, you know, most of us all have the same challenges. Uh, and uh, the financial challenges that people experience uh, are a function of the culture. And so uh, uh, I can't change uh, the culture in this country. What I can do is I can help people identify the culture. And so we talk about what goes on with the stock market. We talk, talk about what goes on on the news. Uh, and you just relate to people. And the question, the, the $64,000 question is, are you where you thought you would be? Regardless of a person's age, most people have to answer that question. No, I'm not where I thought I would be. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I've made some bad choices. I'd like to do better in the future. And so networking with chambers of commerce, uh, talking with people, uh, and trying to find people who are, uh, shall we say, coachable, and you can usually tell, uh, at least I can tell, uh, who's coachable and who's not coachable uh, just by sitting and having an initial interview with them and then asking them to provide me with some simple information. And if they don't do it, they're not coachable. And if they do do it, then they're coachable. And so there's a, a, a selection process, a sorting process that you go through with people. And calling existing clients and updating them on what goes on, emailing them, a lot of the stuff is stuff that you can hand off to an assistant, um, but some of the stuff is stuff I enjoy doing. I enjoy cutting my own grass. It's a chance for me to get with God, you know. Uh, and so I can I can walk outside and I can uh, you know cut the grass or do whatever I do and and uh, walk around the yard, talk on the cell phone, and uh, keep up my networking because networking is 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 really where it's at. Uh, and uh, letting my face be known in the community and around and pretty soon somebody says, well, gee, this is a bad guy. He's trying to do the right thing for people. Uh, what does he know I don't know? And so, you, you know, because people don't know what they don't know. And so they think they know everything, but then they find out, gee, maybe I didn't know everything. And so I don't charge for uh, the financial plan. Uh, sooner or later, somebody's going to end up getting a mortgage. They're going to end up getting an annuity or an insurance policy or buying a piece of real estate, whatever it may be. And I'm going to get to earn some money by hooking them up with the right company that can get that person that best annuity, for example. Uh, or the mortgage firm that we're with uh, guarantees the lowest rate or they pay you $500. Very competitive. That's how I get paid. What I do with my days, well, I'm, I'm out there doing what everybody else is doing, and that is trying to look for people that need or want what I do. And that's giving some people some a track to run on, getting them a plan so they can have some financial peace.